let's have another example in this example let's look at the following system find the transfer function described by the following circuit so as you can see we have a negative here so this one is a an inverting amplifier so in general and instead of saying v output over v input or e output over e input and saying negative r2 over r1 in general we will say negative z2 over z1 so impedance of output which include resistance inductance capacitance divided by z of the input okay so let's type it e output over e input would be negative z2 over z1 okay now z1 here is r1 so z1 equal to r1 and z2 is the equivalent of all of this now c1 is 1 over s c1 in the laplace domain right so z2 will be the equivalent of these two which is two parallel components their product divided by their submission so it will be r2 multiplied by 1 over sc1 divided by their submission now take this element down here 1 over uh, denominator component take it down so sc1 multiplied by all of this so r2 uh, so it will be s r2 c1 okay plus 1 okay so we have z2 and z1 so we will equal to negative z2 which is r2 over uh, r2 c1 s plus 1 okay and uh, divided by z1 which is r1 okay so we will take this down here so we will type it here equal to negative r2 take r1 multiplied by all of this factor so it will be r1 r2 s plus r1 so as you can see here you can see negative r2 divided by r1 let's take r1 as a common factor it will be 1 plus r2 s however we forgot just one element here c1 so it will be r2 c1 r1 r2 c1 r1 so we need here c1 so if you take r1 as a common factor like this it will be c1 r2 s plus 1 c1 r2 s plus 1 okay so I hope you now understand these two examples on how to get the transfer function for electric circuits.